One thing I've seen in myself and in clients all around the world is that as this energy is increasing on the planet, our lower chakras are really opening quickly and letting the old stories out. So this is old past life things and old childhood things. Any stories that are stored in the emotional body are really coming out quickly right now. Now, this sounds like a good idea. We're all healing and the old stuff's coming out and ultimately it, it is a good idea and it will feel good. But in the short term, it's been a little bit messy. So you may have noticed for yourself and for other people that it's really easy right now to get frustrated with people, get angry at people. What's happening here is that as this old stuff comes out of the chakras and out of the emotional body and the stories are coming by, it's really easy to get a little confused and think that ah, this story is real and it's happening right now. Now, one reason this happens is that the emotional body is different than the physical or mental body. The emotional body doesn't have absolute identities for people. Like in the physical world, we have bodies. This body is Jeff Allen. This body is somebody else and so on. But in the emotional world, identities are relative. So people don't have names. They just have roles relative to me. This is the person playing the dad role right now or the person playing the bad guy role right now or the good guy role. There's roles rather than uh, strict identities or absolute identities. So the emotional body, it's really easy when an old story comes up, whether it's past life or this life in the past, or even kind of a future story you're imagining, it's really easy to sort of take one person and peel them out, out of the story, look around in your environment and sort of slide a new person back in that you think fits. And this is happening because as this energy comes out, it's easy to believe that it's real. Ah, this thing is really happening. But the characters don't make sense. So quickly we, we, you know, we, we pull them out and we slide in new people that match these relative identities. Now what makes this even more interesting is the emotional body also doesn't understand time. So everything is happening right now. There's no past and there's no future. So if something happened 20 years ago that you didn't like, the emotional body is still experiencing it today. If it's something you're afraid will happen in the future that hasn't even happened yet, doesn't matter, the emotional body will pretend that it's happening today. So a lot of this is happening now. A lot of people, myself included and you included, are projecting stuff onto other people, are imagining that, that you know, their stories are real and, and it's a little bit messy and a little grumpy and there's a little fighting going on. So the way to snap out of this really is just first to understand your stories a lot of the time are just not real. You know, I hate to break it to you, but it's just true. A lot of what you think is happening or you think other people are thinking about you, it's just stories. It's not actually happening. <laughs> now, when you realize that, you can stop for a minute when you're feeling something and ask yourself, ah, I'm feeling angry right now and it's true, I am angry, but the whole story about why I'm angry and who did it and what's happening, maybe that's not a true story. Maybe I'm making that up. Or maybe I'm projecting a true story from the past onto somebody in the present that doesn't actually fit. When you realize that, you get a little distance from that story and you can ask the second question, which is really important. You can ask yourself, is this story interesting? So this story about the bad thing that happened and how I'm feeling and I'm angry and blah, 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 the story I've heard many times, is it even interesting? Because chances are it's probably not. Most of these negative stories or kind of trauma stories aren't even interesting to us anymore. Now, if it's not interesting, the cool thing is right now that the energy is moving really fast in the planet. All you have to do is just decide, I don't want this anymore. I don't need this in my experience and just let go of your attachment to it. And the energy is fast enough now that it will naturally just flow out and move. And this is a little different than before, where we had to dig a little bit to get into things and get them to move. So I encourage you right now to take those two steps. When you're feeling something that you don't want to feel or feeling something that doesn't feel happy and, and good to you, ask yourself, one, is it real? And two, is it interesting? And this will really help you let those things go and just let them move out. Now. Another thing that's happening with people as we move into this faster energy is that people are grounding their energy a little bit differently in time. So before, a lot of people like to ground their energy into the future and kind of think about future projects and so on. I'm, I'm one of these people. 
And some people like to ground their energy into the past. So really enjoying the past, reminiscing, or maybe reminiscing about good or bad things. And what's happening now is, is the energy is changing and the old stuff is sort of coming out and coming loose, is that there's less of this attachment to future and past. People are really moving in toward the center. This is really cool because these two things together, the getting into present time and the moving of the filters and kind of the old noise and stories, both of these are making it much easier to see people. So much easier to look at somebody and see who they really are right now in present time and how they're actually relating to us rather than the story about what happened before, what might happen next, or maybe they look like this other person that you didn't like and you know all this stuff that's really confusing. So as that all clears here and is clearing in 2012, we're getting the opportunity to really see each other more clearly and have better relationships with each other. Now, this is on a personal level. On a global level, the same thing is happening. So you'll see countries starting to see each other a little more clearly. Some of the old stories and old kind of long-term hatreds and wars will start to fade out and people can make amends and connect with each other in present time on a much happier plane. So that's, that's really exciting. I'm super excited to see the results 2013, 14, 15, and so on, as this energy really integrates into the way people are creating. It's going to be a very different world. And we're seeing this already in a little scale, but it's easy right now to focus on all the stuff that's sort of collapsing rather than focus on the new cool things that are building.